Hey guys, I sip here and welcome to Python tutorial number 16. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at our second immutable sequence and that is the tuple, okay, or tuple, how, however you want to uh, say it. I'm not sure how it's really pronounced, but it doesn't actually matter so much. Uh, so, one number one thing to know is how do you create a tuple? Um, really simple. Anything, any list that is not, I don't mean list in the sense of Python list, I mean less, list in the sense of uh, a, a, a comma separated group of things, I guess, is the dictionary definition of a list. Any comma separated list is a tuple. So long as it's not between square brackets, then it will become a list, as in, that's the list in the Python sense. So if I have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I press enter here, you can see it puts them between brace, uh, between parentheses, and that means it's a tuple, okay? So you won't often see a tuple represented outside of parentheses, but it can be done. The co common way, obviously, is to do it like so. Okay? Um, now... That's how to create tuples. How do we create a tuple with a single element? Because in a list we can just do it like so, and that's a list there. Uh, so let's try it with tuples. Uh, wait a minute, how come there are no parentheses around it? That's because that's just an integer. So how do you create a tuple with just one element? Well, like so. The whole um, thing about tuples is the comma. So even with only one element, you still need that comma. Okay. Uh, for that reason, in tuples, even if you've got more than one element, people leave that comma at the end, just because that's how tuples work. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, now, you might be asking, how do you do multiplication with um, tuples? Because when I tried doing something like this, uh, 3 times 42, I just get 126. Well, again, you need to remember you have uh, the comma there. So, whoops, I forgot the multiplication sign. And there we go. Now we have uh, a group of 42s. Now, uh, you can do addition on tuples. Uh, that's obviously allowed, as you can see here. Don't let the fact that they are uh, immutable, as tuples are immutable, put you off from thinking that you can't do addition. I mean, you can do multiplication, right? So you can also do addition uh, with tuples. So, yep. So they're immutable. Let's get back onto that. Uh, if I say t is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh, I can put that comma in there, that's fine. Uh, and then I now, sorry, I just got some liquid on my screen, and I look at T, okay, uh, and I think, wait a minute, I want to change the first element to zero, so T zero equals zero. Ah, sorry, tuples don't support item assignment, just like strings, they are immutable sequences, which means once you make them, no changes, uh, unless you reassign them to a whole new, um, a whole new tuple. So you could then say one, two, or zero is what we wanted. Okay, and then that's allowed because you're reassigning it entirely. Uh, if you just want to extend the list, you could do t plus equal. Uh, I'm not sure if this works actually. It might work. Uh, let's try that. Yep, it does work. Okay, so that's how you extend list. Um, uh, sorry, tuples. Tuples don't actually have a lot of the methods that lists do. If I type t dot and wait, okay, there we go. We only have two methods, two tuple methods, um, which are count, obviously, so we can supply the value five. Let's say there's only one five. I can plus equal um, f five on there. Remember that comma. And now t dot count five gets two, and t dot index five. The first uh, occurrence is at position four, so if I s there we go. Those are the only two um, 
methods we have with tuples. Um, and obviously you can index them and you can slice them as well. So 4 to the end will be done like so. Okay, so that's about it for this tutorial guys, over and out.